Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current polls, trends, and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed the endless eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! cardboard market. Watch addiction, guys. You guys already know. Let's get it, guys. The channel continues to grow. Refresh, Jay. Man, we're almost at 3.15k. It's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate your guys' support. Continue to show me. Good, Jay, that's all good and well, but show me the cardboard. I'm addicted. I need to scratch that itch. That, that's all that matters. Show me the cardboard. Guys, we're going to go over Pote, Power of the Elements. Honestly, I think most of these cards, they should be getting reprints anytime soon. Um, It's about that time. Most of these won't go over this upcoming March reprint set or February, whenever it comes out, as it does almost every time, you know, every single year. Um, so, but in the meantime, might be a couple of months away. So we're gonna discuss um this set and many other ones. You know, today, excuse me, we're gonna review a couple of cards, just cards that I believe. Um, let me just click this here. Where is it? Yes, cards that are that are still um relevant today, guys. Forgotten cards that are relevant today, in my opinion, guys. Primeval Planet. Pearl Arena, man, guys, this card is still a single print, man. It is dumping down strong. It used to be 47 to 50. Bales up, pop down to 28s. Look, right here, boom, 28s. Might go as, you know, as low as 25s. We'll see. Six pages, only 54 listings. I mean, tier limits are running all over the place, honestly, man. Tier limits, they're running rampant. They're topping events, regionals, even YCSs. Um, and uh, it's a strong deck. It's crazy with all the hits they have. And uh, they, they died for a while. And now they're back. It's just insane uh, to see this deck still survive to this day. So their field spell, I mean, it should get, it should be getting a reprint not too far off. Um, but people need it now. People want to go to events. They want to prepare for the regionals, things of that nature. So you can see that it is dumping, but it might be flooring in, pr in price at around 25s before it maybe starts ramping back up. Then we have Ultimate Slayer. This is a secret rare. Again, from power the elements had a massive spike from 11 to 12s all the way up to 23s to 25 billies and then it's just been making lower highs and lower lows and now it's just falling off off a cliff i mean going down from 25s to 15s essentially that's almost 10 billies down in value but 16s right now with four ofs right there um five pages 44 listings so it's not as readily available to get but honestly, it's a card. It'll probably be single digits once again. Um, and especially with a reprint one way or another looming for this card, breathing on top of us, just that reprint coming in. Um, honestly, you never know. It might get another leg up. It might get that second leg up. But right now, the chart and the curvature is just indicating a lot of sell pressure. Uh, me, I wouldn't hold on to this card, but you never know, right? I'm just putting the evidence out there. I'm telling you what I would be doing. I'm not necessarily saying that that is the best for you. I'm giving you guys the information and you do with it as you please. We have Elemental Hero Shining Neo's Wingman Ultra Rare from Pote, still a single print card. This one um, it's, it continues an uptrend here. Used to be what, a billion some change, and now you can find this card for 320. That's a one of four right here, four billies a pop quickly goes up to five it's a hero card single print and uh, well it's five billies after you clean this up janitor style we do see a couple of r nines it's a five billy card four pages only 32 listings it's again elemental hero shining neil's wingman it's an elemental hero card what would we i mean i think i have do i have a couple of these i need to look this up man. i think i got a couple for a couple of billies um so uh yeah 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 this card is making move another uh, moves another hero card instant contact the contact it's a secret rare from power of the elements continue to make new all-time highs in the three-month chart let's see yeah in the three-month chart previous all-time high of nine billies almost double digits in the three-month this card let's see the six month yeah so this card was three dollars and twenty cents and now is peaking at around 480 suffice based on the charts we do have if we clean this up janitor style we do see here a one of f 450s but it's a five billy secret rare quickly goes up to sevens three pages only 29 listings guys this card it's beautiful love the artwork i love the artwork of this card but i think it'll get a reprint honestly all these cards from pote i'd be dumping them eventually they need to get a reprint at some point this is this thing skipped a lot of these cards skipped up um the tins this year but i don't think they get over this next reprint set so let's see 
how it pans out now moving on to darkwing blast man this set no one remembers about this set anymore this set had fenrir which is pushing 20s right now it had sprint which we, we're gonna cover um just so many great cards spellbound obviously og lubelion and Druus worm so many great cards in this set that people forgot but we're here to make sure you guys remember again cast here fenrir recently we called this move off the 15 billy lows all the way up to 20 plus as we can see here retracing back down to the mean but look people coming in buying this card even at play sets we called this one guys just the other day this was like a 15 billy card literally man you're gonna make me make another fresh off the flat the og know the og knows the ogs know what i'm talking about 22 billy look it's a 26 billy card 24 26 30s two three pages only 24 it's too easy man it's cash tier of fenrir everyone needs a place it is what it is ash fenrir all these cards are just staples in most decks hey, even at play sets and uh yeah i mean literally it's just too easy man that's crazy this card was 70 billies at one point as an ultra rare that is straight insanity then we have sprite sprint i mean i'm running two of these this card is just i love it i mean you get a bounce you get a dub it's just so good um you know what i mean had highs of 21 billies and wow double top formation wow you can't make this stuff up crazy when you see that in the chart like to the exact level wow and now we had to retrace him back down to 13s that's strong oh that's like 40 percent dump and now we're retracing back up retracing back up man how do you say you know, sounds you know and you know so you have a couple of one ofs here at around 14 15s but then it's a 20 billy card three pages only 29 listings still a single print from darkwing blast that's crazy that this card didn't get a reprint and uh looks beautiful secret rare and uh yeah if you're playing sprite the sprite engine with adventure or melfies or runics or fur hires you're gonna need at least one of these maybe even two and i'm glad i got mine at around 13s 14s i think it was or 50 i don't know i just know i got mine at a lower price and uh yeah make sure you keep this one in mind then you have the bestial lubelion um excuse me guys honestly we're always talking about the prismatic secret reprint from the tints because personally i prefer the uh, that print that rarity i just love prismatic secret rares um but people are like yeah yeah jay that's all gonna well first that og so you know sometimes we got to cover the ogs especially if it's at a floor price down from 86 billy ohms we called it we told you guys and we told you guys sell this card hopefully you guys listen but now we flip the script why because we roll based on the charts the evidence men lie women lie the charts don't lie the evidence is here the facts is here it's saying guys we've dumped down from 86s down to 15s well you know what the chart is screaming buy 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 me please i don't see this card getting reprinted anytime soon the other uh print is technically a higher rarity so this is first that ogs around four this is it if there was ever a time to buy the first that og lubelions not now is the time 15 billies again you can always get a reprint at any time there's no way to know that it's assuming no further reprints in the short term you know maybe in march but from here to march you might buy these here and people this will be like a 20 to 25 billy card sooner rather than later you see a lot of one ofs and two ofs and it's a 20 to 21 billy card it's, it's too easy literally guys if you want free money make sure you guys get your lubelions unless we get a reprint but yeah, I mean, I have like six of the tens ones. I don't own this card, but again, if I would be a first at OG lover, I would be getting the Lubelions, even as an investment or to play or whatever right now. Then we have Druid Swarm as a super rare, not max rarity, but you see it used to be, wow, two billies went up to 14s. That's insane. That's a 7x. Wow. Now it's still hovering around 11 billies for the super rare. And uh, yeah, four pages only, 33 listings. So this card is not as easy to get from Darkwing Blast. Make sure you get your copy sooner rather than later. Spellbound, Darkwing Blast, same deal. You had a double top formation. Used to be three, four shekels. Went all the way up to 11s and then 1150s. Double top, clear double top. This is not good for this card. You know, based on the chart, we broke the previous low of seven billies. And now we find ourselves at 574s. That's not good. Based on the chart, you don't want to break the pivot low right here. You wanted this under uptrend to continue intact so right now i think it's just hovering you know right below this previous support now turned resistance and we expect further prices de to decline but again it is max rarity for this card and you never know things can flip you know whoop, and there's people buying these at 10 so hey if the demand comes in you do have the massive wall of china there gamers choice too yeah at 668 so make sure you keep that 
in mind. Then we have Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, the set that everyone forgot. Why? Because most of the high-end cards got reprinted. But there's still a couple that we need to talk about, starting with Starlight Rare uh, Super Polymerization. This card continues to dump down into oblivion, insanity. It used to be 200 billies, and then the QCSR print came, went down all the way to triple digits. But if we clean this up, we do see that this card is... um. Let me see. This one's 100% seller. Only 14 sales, but let's give him a shot. What? This is 130s. A lot. Just a couple of one ofs, and then the card is cleaned out. Five listings. Keep this one in mind, guys. Then we have Blackwing Value, the Emblem of Honor. From Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. I have a bunch of these, man. Where, where, let me see. Where? Did I put him around here? No? And I, th I think I put him in a, like one of the... T I have stacks. I have an RO stack. Jay, what is that? It's multiple RO nine. I have like 50 of these. I bought them at like 40 cents. Why? Because it's too easy, guys. Literally, man, it's value. It's an Edison card. We've talked about this card months ago. When we, when we made an Edison video, we talked about this card. We said, guys, 30, 40, what was it? 40 cents, 50 cents. I'm like, it's too cheap. And literally, this card hovered around 40 to 50 cents forever. And now we have the first all-time high at around 80 cents, retracing back down, now going back up. Guys, this is your last chance. Look. You have a massive wall of China, 471 copies. I thought I had a lot with fitties. But the thing is, in my case, I'm away. Patience wins this game. No need to sell this card right now. Honestly, I would be buying this card. This dude, I'd be holding this. This is going to be a Billy card down the line after this wall of China. Easily a buck, a pop. And look, 77 listings. The demand for Edison is here for the secret rare. I told you guys, this is the mid-max. This is going to be a Billy card at the bare minimum. Probably multiple Billies down the line. Patience wins this game. And me, I still hold my stack. I'm not selling these because I need to see at least a Billy for the 2X. But probably 2 to 3s. That's when your boy Jay starts taking profits for this card. Then Clockwork Knight. Again, guys, when, when the value of a set like Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge gets drained with, with the higher rarity, then the value starts shifting into the other cards that are single print, that they're hard to get from the set, and things of that nature. And this card continues to make new all-time highs. Wow, clear uptrend since the card came out. Used to be four shekels. Now it's pushing 1150s. And look, Look, quickly, you know, after an R09 here, those three places, the card is at a new all-time high once again. This card is not easy to get anymore. Under 50 listings, five pages for this one. And uh, yeah, look at that. Just new all-time highs, man. Re Yo, the trend is your friend until the end. Make sure you respect the trend. Higher lows and higher highs. This card will be 15s probably sooner rather than later unless it gets a reprint. Number F0, Utopic Draco Future. Going parabolic just like the channel. Look at that. Card was sixes, before that fives. And now if we clean this up janitor style, we do see here eight billies. And then eventually it'll be double digits, five pages only, 42 listings. And uh, the demand is coming in for this card. L literally, look at the chart. Just going parabolic for this secret rare number F0, Utopic draco future then you have tomb black luster soldier guys this one just hovering here you know main new all-time highs but it's just hovering around what seven to eights not bad i mean i have a, a play set of these um and you know but i'll probably get rid of this tomb. this will be money though i just you know i want to take that money and cycle it in into other investments but honestly you have an ro6 right here uh seven pages down here 67 listings this will be double digits down the line so not bad for tomb black luster soldier who knows when this card is going to get a reprint and then we have dd crow from the same set people like oh jay we're getting a common in ots pack 23 you know sell your ultras no no look at that people just want their holographics they don't call, they don't care that a common is coming out you know that's <laughs> like tyler says that's for the pores you know and sometimes you know i play commons too so you know i'm in that boat but guys i mean the commons people that are on a budget that's perfectly fine i play commons too you know in some of my decks you know when we want to go budget on certain cards that are just too much but man the difference well the commons maybe 50 cents this is a billy i would be getting this card right here at a billy 15. this will be a billy 50 before you know it after that wallet china get, gets gobbled up under 100 listing and then it'll be twos and threes down the line you can use this in edison i believe so can you I think you can, right? It's at two, isn't it, or something? I don't remember, but it's DD Crow, man. It, we, there's nothing too much else that I can say about it. You know what I mean, guys? Guys, link in the description down below. Make sure you check out the short form content, the Discord, trying to get to 250 peeps. Don't forget to check out check out the deals in Game Nerds right here. YGO Fresh off the podcast, man. I need to click on that. Let me open this. Where is it? 
Can I open this? Yeah, one click gets you in. You can come over here, guys. You do not have to be, uh, uh, you know, a, subs uh, a member of, um, you don't have to sign up. You can come and listen in even if you don't have an account over here in Spotify. But if you do, then make sure to follow. It would really, it would really help. You can click play. And that's it, man. Listen in, scrolling through, you know, skimming through your cards, your binder sorting and all that, things of that nature. Make sure you listen in and provide that feedback. Maybe via the comment of this video, I would gladly um appreciate it and then the friends of the channel these people are amazing make sure you check them out they provide great great content Yu-Gi-Oh content and also destroy and like the subscribe button as um <clears throat> excuse me guys ring that bell so you can stay informed for our giveaways and for our fresh off the press content guys none of this content is official financial advice is for entertainment purposes only continue to show me the cardboard jay guys you remember wallet survivors guys i mean we got vanquish so in here we got some new fresh off the press dino support hungry burger and uh nouvelles no one cared about those but some of these cards are making moves look ground xeno used to be 24s bumping up to 30s now retracing back down so a lot of volatility for the single print ultra rare impossible to get from wild survivors essentially four pages only 31 listings you do have a couple of one of the year fives and the twos but not easy to get. This will be 30s before you know it. Once again, people coming in. Look, even at around 30s buying play sets. I mean, if you're playing dinos, I can't blame you. You have Nouvelle's restaurant at table. I mean, what is going on? Guys, this used to be $4.50 cleaned out. What? Two pages only. 16 listings. It's a 13 Billy card from Wallace Survivors going parabolic. Just like the channel. You can't make this stuff up. And then, of course, we have... Excuse me, guys. Whoa. Man. Yeah. Wachi Lacat. Man, today's menu. Yeah, that's better. Man, why, why do I do that to myself here? So you can see this card used to be four billies as well. Now it's eight. You have that 100% increase. With the previous one, you had a 200% increase. Is it like that? Oh, I'm bad at math. Guys, you guys got the gist. 820. This is, this is a double digit. This thing, look, three pages getting cleaned out. 28 listings going parabolic as well for these cards. I don't know who's buying this or who's playing this, but at the end of the day, they're extremely hard to get from this set. Um, and yeah, now we have due to scarcity that price appreciation. And then we have the wild survivors penny stonk here. A lot of people were buying these at at quarters and even under and now the card is pushing you know 50 cents getting some sales here in the 45 to 50 cent range you still have a lot of one of zero but the massive ones are china are out the 35 cents still uh so three of these for a billy not bad a place that for a billy just to have access to allure darkness rare from a set that not many people cracked open it's not bad at all then you have some cards from maze of memories here that i just wanted to skim through you know we have wake up your elemental hero another hero card was seven dollars and fifty cents the other day now it's pushing 11 30s and then retracing back down to single digits you know just to take a breather before it's double digits again five pages only under 50 listings it's a hero card don't sleep on this card man there's just value in it we have black luster soldier legendary swordsman as we can see this card used to be three dollars three billies and then went all the way up to 864s retrace back down to fives and now it's just hovering between fives and sixes um let me just clean this up real quick and you can see you have a deal here at 550 but then it quickly goes up to six and beyond from with this card that has that single print it looks beautiful it's not as easy to get you have rika glamour from maze of memories this card continues its uptrend you know recent high of 550 you can find these at above three billies uh but quickly become four so yeah if you're playing plants rikas i wouldn't wait too much on this card this will be five billies once again before you know it we talked about soul and judgment earlier yeah, i just find it surprising how the common is here and people don't care they just want their holographics but lastly you know spellbook of fate i honestly think this is a great great card for you guys to get access to a cr guys this is a collector's rare from maze of memory just dumping down into oblivion guys look used to be 785s last time we discussed it now it's just dumping down you have a couple of deals here at under seven and uh five pages only let's see 46 listings but let's do this real quick. 38 listings only so the card really scarce look people buying this card up at five billies i can't blame them these this is a deal right here for a cr spellbook of fate man you guys 
already know guys hopefully you enjoyed today's content if you made it this far out into the video you guys continue to be the straight mvps shout out to my members man you guys are amazing really appreciate the support the love that you show me in the channel man without you guys man it just wouldn't be the same i really appreciate that um you guys are amazing and you know hopefully you guys continue to enjoy my uh my members videos and the ones that comment i really appreciate it and you leave a comment down below you know whoever's watching make sure you double check that you're subscribed it really does help out you know the channel and uh yeah guys guys thank you so much for your time your support and your attention stay fresh